king is a petulant child. He is a weak man and a bad king. It is so unfair! Your Majesty must send a strong message to those who would meddle in France's affairs. The king has begun to believe he can rule without me. The Cardinal must not find out about those letters. The loss of these letters will remind him otherwise. I should never have done anything without your counsel. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Will you please don't leave me alone. Nothing's beyond my control. We must stay in the palace. Mother knows best, Cardinal. I must think of France. Now she would suffer if something were to happen to her ruler. I can trust no one at court. I'm surrounded by fools and liars. Total solitude. Unlimited time to reflect. I almost envy you. This is married Medici. There's always something more to it. Let's not pretend we both don't know what big teeth you have. Grandmother. You think I would kill my own son? I think that you would strangle him with your bare hands to get to the throne. I would cut off her head! Decapitating one's mother is rarely popular with the people, sire. It always looks a touch ungrateful. Poor Louis. My heart bleeds for him. You have one. I know how your mind works. Your endless tricks and deceptions. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I am the grand deceiver, and you are the bluff, honest man of action. I'm familiar with the roles we play, Captain. Are you a man, Athos is the best swordsman in the regiment. That's not what I asked. You're very sensitive for a man in the business of killing. It's a matter of honor. Honor? There's no word in the language more likely to cause stupidity and inconvenience. No control, no pity, no remorse. You're exactly what I need. Your world of back alley stabbings and murder disgusts me. Not everything I do is pleasant, but it's all necessary. Now, with the greatest of respect for your exquisite delicacy of feeling, may we please return to the real issue here. Succeed and you walk free. If this goes wrong, you will pay a very great price. Lose and you hang. The Duke is still a strong man in good health. Accidents happen, Your Majesty. One must be prepared. Have you captured the man who tried to kill me? We shouldn't allow ourselves to be distracted by minor issues. Better if Anne were dead. Better for me, better for the country. France would have an heir. All our problems will be solved. The Queen is barren. If the King dies without an heir, France will be plunged back into civil war. Is one woman's life worth sacrificing to avoid such a catastrophe? I think it is. I ordered her death because I alone will face the truths that no one else can stomach. The Queen is with child. No one could be happier than I. Child after so long. One might almost call it a miracle. Need I remind you that you are a cardinal? I'm also first minister of France. In matters of religion, I defer to Rome. In all else, I am my country's servant. It is an act of mercy to put an end to their miserable existence. Your compassion for the poor brings tears to my eyes. The Pope is Spain's before a monkey. I speak with the greatest respect for his holy office, of course. France is a nation of liars and cheats. I appreciate a melodrama as much as the next man, but an explanation that might help clarify things. Clearly, there's been some mistake. I won't do it. Paris has a number of excellent places of collection. If you'd like a tour of them all. I suppose the Cardinal's trying one of his famous tricks. What a terrible man. If I might, lay out my plans in detail. Explain them as if your life depended on it. Which, incidentally, <laughs> it does. God. So will I. There are those who fear for King Louis' mortal soul. That's so many. There'll be no clue. No regency. No power. Just a sad, deluded old woman with nothing. Your grandson, Henry, isn't it? He perished. Enjoy your retirement. But at least I can always rely on you. He doesn't love you as I do. Yes, but he pays for all of this. One thing I have learned in politics is never to let personal issues cloud my judgment. You're going to kill me? You're a traitor and a spy. Have you no mercy? Mercy belongs to God. I have never consorted with the devil until this moment.
I am looking at. Everything I do, I do for the good of France. Treasury is bankrupt and the country needs a new navy. Mignon has the wealth to provide it. Your lands, your property, and your money will all be forfeit to the state. I have done terrible things. My account with God is not yet balanced. What I did, I did solely for the interests of France. It is only because I believe you are sincere in your devotion to the country. I'm not a cruel man, just a practical one. But I have decided to spare your life. France needs you. Today I find my vision clearer than ever.